Only three low country high schools are still chasing a state title on the gridiron. Fort Dorchester and then two smaller schools that sit on the edge of the Francis Marion Forest. Brandon Baylor has more. For the past six years here at Timberland High School, there's been no shortage of championships. One in 2011, another in 2014, and this week they continue to work on possibly number three. In the second half of the season, the Wolves went undefeated the final four games, already two games into the playoffs. Timberland finds themselves in a rematch with Dillon, the same team that ended their playoff hopes a season before. They kind of embarrassed us last year, so I hope, you know there, there's got to be a little bit of that in there. We just got to take care of our business and not get frustrated if they jump out on there and just keep doing the things that we do. Seniors like Nicholas Smith and Joseph Moultrie were a part of that state championship team two years ago. I feel as though that everybody should want more. And I feel as though I want another ring on my finger. Win two player screens in a row. I think we can win a third one in a row. Hopefully get it to the championship. About 30 minutes away in single A, the War Eagles, just a season removed from last year's stumble in the state championship, head coach Brian Smith has his unit back in the hunt once again. Our, our model for the year was finish to chase. Uh, that's what we started out with. We're going to find out here the next two weeks whether or not we can accomplish that. For some of the older guys, there aren't many options. No losing. We can't lose. We lose, we go home. So we're going to win. Reporting here with the War Eagles, Brandon Baylor, News 2 Sports.